Hi Coronado, I'm Tina Friend, Coronado City Manager, and this is a weekly update for the week ending January 28th, 2022. The deadline to vote on this year's Coronado Community Read from among five final titles is Saturday, February 6th. The Community Read and its programs will take place during the month of April. Votes can be cast online at cometcoronado.org or by paper ballot at the Coronado Public Library, Bay Books, and Coronado Historical Association. The Community Read is designed to unite the community through the shared reading of a single book. The program encourages discussion and participation in planned events around the theme of the title. The Coronado Cays Park Master Planning process is getting a restart following recent City Council approval to develop three alternative concept plans. Part of the restart effort is a robust public outreach campaign, Restart, Review, Engage, and Approve, which aligns with the new schedule for the project. Residents and other stakeholders will soon see planned outreach efforts, including press releases, social media posts, banners, news ads, as well as print and video materials tied to upcoming public meetings and key project dates. Meanwhile, the City Council expects to hear from a consultant on the project as early as March about park usage and best practices for the Council's consideration. The City will provide regular updates to the Case Park Master Plan project page on commentcoronado.org and a dedicated section in the weekly update to notify the entire community of the process and how to stay up to date. The Coronado Police Department has a new official uniform patch after a year-long grassroots effort from the police officers themselves. During the design process, there were several modifications to create a final product which looks modern, yet still pay pays homage to all previous patches, with the city's seal as a focal point. Check them out on our uniformed officers around town. Coronado City Hall has reopened after closing two weeks ago due to employee COVID-19 cases. Since no new cases have been reported during the past two weeks, walk-in visitors may once again drop into City Hall without an appointment. The City is doing its best to minimize exposure to the public at City Hall and closely monitor the situation. Thank you for your patience during this time. The City of Coronado applies a slurry seal to extend the life of its streets. Each street in town gets a slurry seal every seven years. The city will begin this year's streets on Tuesday, February 1st. Operations will take place Tuesday through Saturday, February 1st through 5th, and on Monday, February 7th. Work to prepare for the slurry seal was completed earlier this week with crack filling, striping removal, and dig out repairs. The contractor will install new pavement striping one week after the slurry seal is completed. The city will also complete several projects recommended by the city's active transportation plan. Crews with the city's contract arborist are trimming 350 palms within the Orange Avenue medians. Work continues on two upcoming consecutive Saturdays, January 29th and February 5th. Crews completed work on the center median palms last week. On January 29th, work will begin on the southbound side of Orange at 1st Street and end at RH Dana. Crews will close the lane closest to the medians as they go. Then on February 5th, they will head in the opposite direction starting at RH Dana. Crews work from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. The City of Coronado will observe the President's Day holiday on Monday, February 21st and reminds residents and businesses that some municipal facilities around town remain open. Public services will not sweep streets on the holiday, but EDCO will perform residential trash collection on President's Day. Check the weekly update for the full schedule. And there are a couple of projects of note at the Coronado Golf Course. Exterior restrooms, located near the snack bar, will be closed during a renovation project set to begin Monday, February 7th. The project should be completed by March 18th. The golf course clubhouse lobby restrooms will be available for use during the closure. A second project, this one to replace the netting at the driving range, is underway. It is anticipated to be completed January 28th. Netting repairs are needed around the range to keep everyone safe. And stuffing is this week's pet of the week. Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a volunteer here at the Coronado Animal Care Facility with Paws of Coronado. This week, our pet of the week is Stuffing, a five-month-old domestic short-haired kitten. Part of the dinner party kittens, Stuffing came to us in need of surgery on her eyelids. She is all healed up now, and though she has a slight vision impairment, it clearly does not get in her way. She will always have her adorable squinty look though. Despite her rough start in life, stuffing is still sweet and loving and friendly. She gets along well with other cats and would love to have a friend. 
As with all of our animals, stuffing is spayed and microchipped. She's up to date on her vaccinations and she's had a flea preventative applied. She's available for an adoption fee of $50 or $75 as a pair. Please be aware the Coronado Animal Care Facility is open by appointment only. If you're interested in adopting stuffing or any of our animals, you can visit us online at pawsofcoronado.org to fill out an application and our adoption coordinator will get back to you regarding the next steps. To find out more about stuffing, call Paws of Coronado, which runs the city's animal care facility at 619-522-7371. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the city manager's weekly update online.